We've been to Dovey Bike Park. Why don't you do some red trails? Dum da la la. Oh, hang on. Look at that. So far, so good. See, trail bike. Wow, that's nice. So well built and so nice to ride. <laughs> Watch out, Todd. Do you know what? It's really nice. Super super ace. I could ride that all day long. That's more along the lines of a black. Hey folks, how's it going? Another vlog. Now I'm going to interrupt my usual scheduled line of vlogs and I'm going to shoehorn this one in because I figured this was quite important. Um, obviously, we've been to Dovey Bike Park a few times now and we've said the whole time, why don't you do some red trails? Well, they've done them and they invited us to go and have a look. So we're going to kill a few birds with one stone here. Obviously, we're going to go there and we're going to have a look at the trails and ride them and tell you what we think. Also, they've been doing loads of building. They've done all sorts there. So we're going to show you all that and show you what's been going on there and how things have been advancing. And then this is a bit more of an eyebrow raising issue is what bike I'm going to do it on. Now, Todd is going to do it on his Stanton FS. But myself, obviously, I've been riding the e-bike. And we're going to be uplifted, so I don't really want to take that for uplifting because I don't really want to lift it on and off. Plus, I wanted something lightweight. I didn't want to do it on the hardtail. I know it's red and it's smooth, but if I'm going to go for some jumps, etc., I'd rather have some suspension. Uh, my Stanton FS, I've robbed bits off it for the e-bike. So, I decided to borrow a bike. So, let me just show you. First of all, I'll show you what's going on here. There is the bike. I've got no wheels on it at the moment. I sent them off to have the Chris King hub serviced and didn't get them back in time for the weekend because I sent them off a bit late. Now you'll see it's got no bars on it and then there's no pedals on the jump bike. That is because I've transferred them onto this, which I borrowed off my mate. Dum -da -da -da. It is. Santa Cruz Bronson C. So this is my mate Dues. You'll have seen him at the pump tracks. Amazing rider. And uh, he just basically lent me the bike for the day. And not just because of the situation with going to the Reds at Dovey. Also because I just want to try a trail bike again. I want to see what it's like being on a lightweight carbon trail bike. I've sort of forgotten what it's like and I want to see what they're like. Especially on 650 wheels. I have no interest in going back to 650. I'm going to say that right now. But I have a lot of interest in just having a go of this bike and see what I think. So the only thing I've put on it, let me show you. So we've got the DMR bar and stem because I wanted a higher rise. He only had a, uh, I think it was 10 mil rise. And it's also got quite a high rise stem as well. I've put him my death grips on i might give him these as a present because he didn't match any of my bikes these are the wide flangeless ones and then down here two more things we've got the clip on fidlock bottle mount so i'll be using that tomorrow um and then we've got these beautiful these are the dmr volt laconda guy pedals uh i've just got to put a bit of air in the suspension because dudes is super lightweight and then an early night, maybe a gin or two, then off to Dovey. Woo! Sound that really excited. Hello. Tired. I can't be like shouting. We're off to Dovey Bike Park today to ride their new red trails. They've had two new trails put in. Obviously. It's seven weeks to the day since I broke my collarbone, so I'm probably not going to be doing any blacks. Some play the game and some play the fool. I don't know about you, man, but I hate it school. I'm feeling my knees on Jamaica. Big 
new sign, that's massive. Let's go and have a look what else has changed before we get out there and tell you lot if this red is worthy of a red that you'd have at any other bike park or is it going to be too scary? Is it going to be basically worthwhile coming here if you're not super pro mega fast rider? Nice sleep. We've been asleep for an hour, one hour and 20 minutes it took to get here, of which 20 minutes you were awake. Yeah. What's the problem? Fly, it's on the go for an hour. They're new as well, more new wooden. They've certainly been making a lot of wooden structures around here. And uh, is that all new as well? It looks totally different. Yeah, that's definitely different. Look at the size of the timbers across the middle of it. And it was like a cabin before, that was. It was a metal cabin. It's all been done proper timber. So we got the usual COVID crap. Can't get away from it. Lovely timbers. Some proper nice bit of timber work going on here. I do appreciate work like that. We've got a decent cafe now. Nice flashy light in the background. And there's your sign-on room. Okay, so we're pretty much set up, ready to ride here, and I am trying the new Bell downhill lid. Don't really need it for the Reds. Full nine. Probably don't need it for the Reds, but uh, it's a good chance to try it out. You got yours. You've been using yours a lot. Yeah. Happy with it? Yeah. Really Show them the lid. Oh yeah. Now look at those goggles in it as well. They look cool. Turn it around. Talk about these stands just quickly, Todd. They're 15 quid. How much? 15 quid. Where from? Race Coast Cycles. We had to buy two of them, didn't we, at that price? Yeah. So here we are. Here is me in a mask. First time you see me in a mask. Hate wearing these things. So how many bikes on each one for the old social? Five oh, bikes, yeah, sorry. That's okay. Um... Same push up to the top as when I was here in the winter. And I shall be following Todd down if he's up here. He had to go on the one before me. And then giving you my lowdown on the tracks and also this bike. Look at that. Okay, Rodney. Go on then. Cheers, mate. Right, here we go. This is the first one. And uh, straight away, wow, the bike feels like super light. And not as twitchy as I thought it was going to feel. So this is called Super Swooper, because I just read it then. And uh, it's nice to be on a track at W Bike Park that isn't just Super scary, gnarly. You know, my job today is to come here and film and tell you whether it is for the sort of normal riders. So far, so good. God, there's a lot of work gone into this. And also, you know, like I said, oh, it lens. There we go. Like I said, I wanted to see what I've been missing out on with a super lightweight XC, or not XC, trail bike. Wow, that's nice. I've seen the Appertons doing that in their video, but obviously their video is nothing to go by because their skill level is level 100. Um, so, so far, wow, it's made so well. The bike as well just feels really, really way more planted than I thought it was going to feel. Um, actually, beautiful to ride. Because this is what I've been thinking lately. I'm missing out on a lightweight trail bike. 
since having the e-bike and it's what I'm thinking about getting uh, oh, look at these look at these, these are so well built and so nice to ride what? <laughs> these are perfectly built aren't they Todd so apparently I was just talking to um, Affy, Dan Afton down there saying you know can you build a red trail? Well, I certainly can, but uh, he was saying that Rachel has had a big input into this track. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's lovely. It's grippy, it's fun, there's nothing too scary. And they've got these like, sort of gentle drops like back there where you kind of hit them as hard as you dare hit them and you know if you hit them quick you're going to go a long way and as we get down here apparently there are uh, it's a bit more lippy and jumpy so ah, we've got a bit a bit more soily but it's still grippy oh ah, nice little jump there <laughs> watch out Todd a little bit of an odd bit oh that looked then like it was going to be really slippy, but it wasn't. Yes. Such good fun, isn't it? I believe our nicest bike field. So, this is a large Santa Cruz Bronson of my mate Chris's. And, uh, oh God. It's, um, you know what? It's really nice. Really comfortable thought it'd be it'd feel too uh, small but it really doesn't obviously i've been riding the e-bike which is that large cannondale is much shorter reach oh dog going for the manuel oh no heavy there got a bit close to him Yeah, lovely. That is such good fun. Is that the end of it? Yeah. I think it is. Brilliant. <laughs> so I think that's the end of that line. And now uh, we go really fast along the fire road. So that will mean they've got scope to make it longer, which is even better. Oh, this is quick. Wow. Let's do a flyby on Todd. Whoa! Yeah, that's fast. And then just down here, we're back at the centre, around this corner, I think. Yeah, there we go, first van. So, another run of what's this one called? Super Summit, I think. I've forgotten the name. Super Sweeper. That's it. What the name? So, it's a bit El Hippo. Top of it's really fun. But the bottom, I don't really want to push too much on them jumps. Weather's nicer now than when we first started. It's been nice all day. I'm lucky that. 
This bit here. Uh, keep linking to jump, but it's so, so many big, slight bits on the downslope and you hit jump it. It'd be really sketchy. I like doing the pre hops though, on all these little rolly bits. They're fun. Over again. Really good. I'm wary of because they're loose. I don't really want to slide out and land on. Although these stop mentioning it, it's annoying me. I haven't mentioned it enough of lost. But, but I'm definitely faster on these corners than I was at the start of the day. A little manual. There's two. Quite hard to manual a full thing. I haven't manual this bike in so long. I sort of got to relearn them. I've relearned them on the jump bike, but I haven't learned them on the e-bike yet. This is like the gnarly bit. Tag here. Back on to big bike park turns. Got the jump. Mega arm pump. Well, not arm pump. Hand pump. It's all like the little shaly rocks. It's a jumpy bit. Bring the cables on the go a bit better. That's weird because if I was to hit properly, I'd hit the other way. And the only hits here that are my weight are really big. This bit, I haven't actually full on committed to it yet. I'd kind of like to, but yet again, I don't really want to push it. Woo! Bit nose heavy then, but quite nice. Not too bad. Jump. It's got no landing really. <laughs> Loose. Wait, on. Even this last sort of fire engine. On. Dead hot. <laughs> We've had a bit of lunch, filled the bellies, and now we are waiting in the other line. If you look there, that's the other queue, not line, we're not American. And uh, we are going to go up and ride one called El Hippo. As you can see, I've put my trail lid back on just because I want to get a bit of footage from Chinny Chin Chin Cam. And what we're going to do with the footage on this one, Rodney? I'm going to. I'm just going to have my audio and dad's video. So you got to talk a lot. Yeah. Don't forget to talk. You've got to talk louder as well because like this. Yes, you don't talk loud enough as it is. Right, so this one is shorter than the other one because it's come up a different uplift and nowhere near as far up the hill. See you in a bit, boys. See you later. See you, Rod. Yeah. So straight in, 
This is more rooty from the start, from what I can see. This is the one that I actually haven't watched the video, the full run. So I've got no idea on this one. Little jump there. Where am I going? There's the one thing I've noticed is there's a lot of like blind verges. Is that it? No, he said there's a big hit. Oh, there you go. Go on then, Rod. Woo! Ah, that's a big hit. Ah, oh, I see! That's the hit! Oh my god! Some proper hit! I had no idea they were coming up then. So, did it just happen? It's a bit more. Where? Where are you going? I don't know. Less oh, bike parky this oh, bit. Oh, look, it's actually not stone. All down in it. Fun. All my normal type of riding. I actually haven't ridden like that for a while. Sort of gnarly, rooty stuff. Ah, this is what you did your thingy on, isn't it? Yeah. That looks alright, that drop. Can I go on the right though? Yeah. Maybe do that on another run. trying these yet. I think I got a couple of them last time I came. I remember not getting that one and just landing flat and it being horrible. I rode this one before it was finished. Oh, good jump. Big, very big jumps. Good. How does that feel? Is it heavy? Yeah, really <laughs> heavy. Yeah, whatever. That's a downhill bike. And it's super light. It's probably lighter than my hardtail. So it's got these posh cranks on it. Just show us how they work. It's not the cranks, it's that bit. It's the, yeah, it's sort of... Can you yeah. do it with your hands? Not really. You have to step on it. We're going to carry on doing a bit more now, aren't we, Rodney? Yeah. Well, we've done enough filming. We've uh, shown you what's new here, and we've also shown you the two reds, which are called uh, Super Swooper and L Hippo. L Hippo. So uh, Super Swooper Ace, I could ride that all day long yeah. as kind of wish we had, but we had to try. No, actually, no, El Hippo was mint, wasn't it? Yeah, Until the top, you get to those big jumps. The top with, like, the actual proper gnarly, techier bits. Yeah. There, that's really fun. Yeah. That's my yeah. favourite bit. But when you get to the bottom of El Hippo and you join the original jump line, wouldn't say that was a red. That's more along the lines of a black. So, But talking to Afi about it, and he agrees, and he says, right, well, uh, we have got plans to take that down further to the left and carry on as a red. 
and also there's plans to make the longer one even longer yeah so yeah great day the santa cruz was incredible really makes me want a lightweight trail bike and uh let's see what happens there shall we yeah and also what else was a new helmet tried out the bell brilliant love that downhill helmet it's really good thank you very much for watching carry on if you enjoyed leave a like thumbs up like um subscribe turn notifications on so when we upload you get notifications we'll put um we'll put a link to dovey bike park in the description as well and check out our affiliate links where you can buy some of the stuff that we use at a cheaper rate and, and our website our merch website pintv.co.uk thanks for watching keep it pinned